Hello traders and welcome to Ninja Trader 8 Hacks. Now in this video we're going to go ahead and discuss the advanced trade management stop strategies overview. The topics that we're going to go ahead and discuss are the auto break even stop loss, the auto trailing stop loss, and the simulated stop loss orders. As a reminder, trading does carry significant risk, and all information in this video is provided for educational purposes only and does not offer or recommendation to trade futures, stocks, options, or forex. Now to access the stop strategies, what you want to go ahead and do is go into Chart Trader, and you'll notice your ATM strategies over here off to the right. You can go ahead and click on any strategy that you want to go ahead and adjust, and go ahead and hover over this and you'll see Edit. Go ahead and click edit, and then you'll see stop strategy here. Go ahead and click on the drop down menu and go to custom. Let's go ahead and give you an overview of the three different stop strategy parameters. You have auto break even, auto trail, and simulated stop. Auto break even will go ahead and move your stop to break even, or maybe plus or minus uh, break even uh, by a tick or two. Whenever your trade goes, let's say 5, 10, 15 ticks in profit, you can go ahead and choose that setting. I'll get into that in just a second. Auto trail will go ahead and trail your stop behind your trade up to three different steps. Simulated stop is actually held on your machine, so it's not actually held with the broker, but it's a stop that's held on your machine, so you will need to be connected. Uh, to your broker to connect to the internet for this order to go ahead and get triggered. But once price goes to a certain trigger that, simu that triggers your simulated stop and the volume is actually increased and goes to a certain point. So let's say that you want a, and this is based on contracts traded. Let's say that it gets down to 28.92 in the ES and the, on the buy side, you have a you want to buy a simulated stop on the buy side. It's going to go ahead and look at the ask volume and see how many contracts are traded there. If it meets your threshold, it'll go ahead and place the stop into the market. Conversely, if you have a simulated stop on the sell side, it's going to go ahead and look at the bid volume, how many contracts are traded on the bid to go ahead and put that stop into the market for you. So let's go ahead and go back and talk about auto break even. So the profit trigger here gives you the option of putting however many ticks in profit that the your trade needs to go before the stop gets moved up to break even. So in this case here, if I put a profit trigger of 10, the price will need to move 10 ticks in our favor for the stop to go ahead and be moved to break even. The plus is giving you the option of how many ticks above or below break even that you want to go ahead and move your stop to. So for instance, if I put and a profit trigger of 10 ticks here. And my trade goes 10 ticks in profit and I have a plus two here. My stop will be moved to break even plus two ticks. I can also set this to minus two. So what this means is that my when I go 10 ticks in profit, my stop will be placed two ticks below break even at that point. So you can go ahead and adjust that as you see fit. Now important to note here is that all these strategies here are quoted in terms of ticks and pips. So if you have your order quantity or your parameter type set to price or currency, it will go ahead and default back to, tr to ticks when you're using any of these stop strategies. So anything you put here is in terms of ticks for futures contracts or pips for Forex markets. Auto trail gives you the option of using one, two, or three steps of, auto of trailing your profits here. So the stop loss here for step one, what you'll have to do is first put in your profit trigger. So just like the auto break even, if you're going to have a profit trigger of 10 ticks. So when it moves up 10 ticks, I want my stop loss to be 10 ticks behind. Frequency will determine how often this step goes ahead and gets triggered. So if you have this set to three, which just means that every time your trade moves 10 ticks into profit, additionally, it'll go ahead and move your stop loss up 10 ticks. Alternatively, you could have two steps and three steps. So you could be a little bit more liberal in your stop loss with step one and tighten your stop loss up to step, and when you go into step three, tighten your stop loss as you go into more profit. So let's say you have a profit trigger of 20. 
And at this point, you want to go ahead and start tightening your stop and trailing the stop behind by 5. And let's say it goes up to 30. And again, you want to have the stop loss, again, going ahead and moving up and staying behind it by 5. Now you can go ahead and save this as a template here just by simply clicking Save as Template and putting in Stop Strategy 1 or Stop Strategy whatever you'd like and click Save. Now Simulated Stop, as I mentioned earlier, if you enable this, it will need a volume trigger of let's say 50 contracts or more. So if price comes down to a simulated stop that you place into the market, it will also need that volume trigger of 50 plus or more contracts either on the offer for a buy order or on the bid for a sell order to go ahead and be enabled. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a template again. I want to replace it, hit OK. And I have a stop strategy now for one. So if I go ahead and go, I'm into the market now with this custom order. Now every time this market goes ahead and moves in my favor, it'll go ahead and move my stop up to either auto break even or trail the stop as it moves into my favor. Now you can right click on the market or on an order here and go down and enable break even or enable the auto trail. Now I have already done that. So let's go ahead and cancel this. Now if I go back and I go ahead and buy the market with my 5 by 8 stop strategy, if I right click on here and I go to sell, I can always disable the auto break even and always disable the auto trail. But I can always go back here as well and go back to break even and enable it back again and enable the auto trail here function as well. This yellow order represents a simulated stop here into the market. So again, this is locally held on your machine. So you'll need to be connected at all times for this to go ahead and take, an, take effect. It is not held by the broker.